finally got together in person and oh, oh my God, it was everything I could have hoped for and more. And I, I am just here to suck your dick. I really am. I adore you so much, even more in real life. Let me tell you all about David Yonta. First of all, he walks into the Beverly Hills Hotel. I mean, as though he's just lived there, he's staying there. I mean, fabulous Louis Vuitton bag, a Louis Vuitton limited edition that nobody else could get. The lobby is like looking at him. Meanwhile, I go in first, you know, to the polo lounge. And it's so funny because I am not that confident. But then when I go to rich places, I, I you would think that I was Kathy Hilton. I walk right in. I go at the polo lounge. We'll have a table for two. And they go, ma'am, we're fully reserved tonight. I said, excuse me. And they go, there's a, there's an auxiliary bar down to the left of the lobby. Auxiliary bar. We're here for the polo lounge. Excuse me. Do you know who I am in like Washington, DC? Huge deal. Anyway. And when David Yontev showed up to the auxiliary lounge, I was like, oh no, no, (laughs) darling. No, no. So we went to Craig's and, and mind you, David is even more handsome and adorable in real life and so skinny. And we'll talk about that because even Sutton commented on your weight. And anyway, we had a quick drink, but then we went to Craig's, which was amazing. And P.S., we were seated next to the actor, Christopher McDonald. You were like, he's nobody. He's nobody. I take a picture. I put it on my Instagram. He's in. Do you watch the HBO show Hacks? Because you I think you would love Hacks. Do you want in Hacks currently? He's currently in Hacks. He plays Gene Smart's kind of on again, off again boyfriend who is like Sarah's like, I'm getting a picture. I'm like, Sarah, I have no fucking clue who this is. I'm not going to speak to this person. Okay, so there you go. And um, he also was Scooter in um, Happy Gilmore, I believe, years ago. He's he's very famous. He's been in lots, tons and tons of things. So people were like, oh my God, you know him from Hacks. Anyhow, David, I that is a long-winded way of saying it was awesome to meet you in real life and you're just handsome and sweet. And you and I- have the same ADD, which I appreciate so much. But I hear it all. We did have fun. We did Craig's. I did go that. Now you will never with me wait. At, uh, listen, I told you the director of operations for the polo lounge came up to me yesterday and said, I mean, my friend too, who's a huge, but he doesn't know that he's a huge producer at E, who I'm not supposed to ever talk. You, oh, you met him on Saturday. So I said, never talk about him on air, blah, blah, blah. But no, not. he like came up to us and he's like, you know, you guys, because I was literally after I saw you, I was at Polo Lunch after Sutton's place, all which we'll talk about Sutton's track in a few minutes. Yeah, we saw her. We have a semi-exclusive that we sort, you know, that we kind of helped out John with. We got a semi-exclusive here. Semi-exclusive. About something, but no. So he came up to us and he's like, You guys were here all weekend, do do do. And he's like, Here's my card. So then yesterday, my friend was like, Oh, this sucks today. We haven't seen any celebrities. We saw Jamie Gertz, which everybody of a certain age, Jamie fucking Gertz, okay, less than zero, square pegs with SJP. It was like we were totally fangirl. We got, got our picture, but that's not even the point that he was like. So now I'm like, This is the most. I love you, Sutton Strack. This was literally the best thing that happened. He's like, I'm like, you understand you're giving me your card. Like anytime I can't get into this place, I'm using your card. He's like- Good, we have to call him. That's what it's there for. Okay, so we love the polo lounge. You and I met, we had Craig's, we had meatballs. We had like two drinks each, I think, total that night. That wasn't even that bad. And then I was I went- so hungover though, the next day. Like I can't even drink. The, the, the guy, first of all, the guy at Craig's, I think was kind of into us. I don't know in what form. Maybe the they people just at Christ. Want- everyone's been pretty nice. The yes. one person at the the one person at the auxiliary bar, Little Miss Thing. I was not impressed with her attitude. She's giving me attitude like I belong in the auxiliary bar. I'm like, sweetie, you have no idea who I am, and I know that sounds know. so obnoxious. But when someone that guy was an asshole, you're like, are you fucking kidding me? You have no idea, bro. Like, don't fucking start that shit with me. Like, I'm really nice until you fucking take some superior attitude with me, and it's like. Um, no, give me a fucking break. Um, so there was that. Um, and Craig, did you like the food at Craig's? There's always a lot of debate. A lot of people think Craig's is overrated. I think it's a good meal. It's, and it's then we'll not- talk about meeting Sutton Strack. I look, do I think the food is great at Craig's? No, but it's not bad. I think, yeah, exactly. The, the seat, listen, my favorite meal, like my true favorite meal, is like besides the two, two besides three martinis, if I'm going to eat. I like a Caesar with a meatball. That's literally it. I want two appetizers. Give me a Caesar. Give me a meatball. I want to mix it together. And that's fine for me. I didn't need to eat. Sarah Fraser wanted the food. We got the food. (laughs) And I ate. You saw me eat. So everyone, you know, but 
we did see Sutton strap the next day, didn't we? We did. Um, thanks to you, you said Sutton, you had found the event that she'd posted and you'd said she's having this little event. At you know Sutton. what I'm thinking? What? This is what I'm thinking because these episodes go out in order. Okay, you're going to be shocked at what I'm about to say. These episodes go out in order. So could we talk about Lisa Rinna and then talk about Sutton in the next episode? Okay, what a tease. All right. You yes. know why? Because yes. we are overdue. I I mean, literally, this is all just coming to me. It's, this isn't even like trying to do like a cliffhanger. We we like met, we like were with Sutton all day Saturday. We're talking about the next episode. I think we have to get to Lisa Rinna. It just dawns on me that we're going to, this is like a whole episode almost. And we also have to talk about Jed Shaw and like, I don't know about you, but I have a thousand DMs saying, when are you going to speak about this? So can, is that okay with you? Yes, fine with okay. it. I mean, those are- And then we'll talk about Sutton next time. Stories. Um, Could we Where just talk about, to I want to talk about Lisa Rinna. I want to talk about Lisa Rinna. First of all, I want to say a couple of things before you get your start, before you get started. I, first of all, I'm apologizing to myself. I'm apologizing to all of the listeners of the show. I just did this on Patreon. And I would like to say- a gentle fuck you to Kim D, a gentle, I can't say fuck you to Catherine Edwards because we are so lucky to have Catherine Edwards and she is a fucking icon. And the third person I would like to say fuck you to is Sarah Fraser. So Sarah Fraser and Kim D, go fuck yourselves. Fuck I know. you. Fuck you. <laughs> I sat here the first week. Oh, sorry. Oh God. People are going to tune off now. They get very, one woman said the only person you want to hear this? The only day, the only day she tunes in is for Kim D because Kim D is the only one that doesn't use the F word on my podcast oh, and that God. you and I are filth. We are filth. And then there's the other woman that hates me because I swore in front of your son like 700 times. Let me say, fuck you. Let, let, let me say, Good fuck you. Kim. I sat here week, week two, I said week two, Lisa Rinna is being fired week three weeks. And a lot of people are DMing David, you were right. In the last four weeks, you all got into my fucking head. And I was like, I, I just said there's it's too, this show will not change. There is no way Lisa could have come back. It would have been the same show. You could get rid of Crystal and Dorit and keep Lisa and hire Brandy. It doesn't matter. Lisa is so good at this game. Love her, Ader. She is a steamer. She took out LVP. She took out Kim Richards. She took out Yolanda Hadid. She took out her best fucking friend. Not best friend, but a very Denise good friend. Richards. Denise Bye, Richards. Denise. Now she <laughs> tries to take out Kathy Helton. There's, I was like, this. It's she's done. She did the job too much. It's it's sad. I think they they clapped and they encouraged her. They gave her rope. They gave her rope to hang herself. I think it's too much. And she did all of that. And I think she came crashing down. And I just think that she, I, I, I should have stuck to my gut because if you and don't, this is not about me. I told you so. Go and listen to every fucking episode me and Sarah and me and Kim did and me and Catherine. I said she was leaving. I said she was going to be fired. And here we are. So fuck you for everyone that got into my head and made me change my mind. I got to stick to my things. She's fired for the same reason Vicky was fired. It's, 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 it, it, she, you can't, and I want your opinion. I have a, so much to say. You can't become bigger than the show. This is an ensemble show. I mean, to be honest with you, the only person 